Hello. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do the eyelashes. So you can see I already did this eye, uh, just to remind myself how to do things. I also, I normally use a curved needle and for the life of me, I can't find it. So now I'm thinking I have a curved needle in the carpet that I dropped, oopsie. <laughs> so the supplies you're gonna need is white um, floss. And I, um, I just kind of know this from doing embroidery before, but it's normally floss is six strands in one and I removed two and took it down to four strands. And that's usually the, the thickness of the surrounding, um, for the eye. And I have, of course you need scissors. I have an invisible ink pen and you know, you can see this is just the plain white. So uh, I draw my eyelashes and I draw them on both sides. So, and this is disappearing ink. And this really does help um, even on this dark fabric. See how you can still see the eyelashes. This really helps you keep your eyelashes uniform um, to get, to go ahead and get the pen and do it. Um, all you do is, is kind of just wet the fabric um, with a little bit of water on your finger and it disappears. Uh, better not touch it too much because I think even just my perspiration from my fingers can do it. So <clears throat> all I do is I tie a knot in my thread here and I go in from the side um, on her seam and I take it and I started at the outside of the lash here and I get right on the end there and then I pull. Okay, don't pull too hard or else you'll end up ripping it right through the bird. So just keep tugging till you get that there. See how it popped right in? Okay, then don't pull too hard or it'll pop right back out. Okay, now you want to get underneath the floss for the eyeball. So you want to make sure that you're getting it like right up against the brown. Stick it in and then take it up to your other lash Ugh, right there. Okay. I always find that that curved needle helps me just um, make sure that it's just, it's so much easier to stick through with these stuffed animals. So you can kind of like look at it, make sure you didn't over pull it too tight. Make sure that it's going to look right whenever you pull it back through with your lash. Okay, that looks like it's going to be uniform. I'm gonna take it, make sure I get underneath the eyeball lining. And don't go through it, go underneath it. Okay. And then up here to the top of the next one. Okay. Pulling it through. Yep. All right. Make sure I don't pull it too tight. All right. Does that look right? So here's where I know that I do it not really the way that you're supposed to, but. I go ahead and I make a knot in the floss just to help keep it from backing back out. And I know that like if you do embroidery, like you watch videos and stuff, um, people knot it like outside of the animal, but after you've already done this, but I just go ahead and put the knot in there and then let me go in again. Okay. And take it out the back of her head. Pull it down. Oh, see, look, I totally messed that one up. So here's how you would pull this back out. So I'm going to remove it, pull it back out, <laughs> stick it back through the needle. And I have, I bought myself some of those wide eyed needles so that in my old age here, I can still see to thread the needle because <laughs> I'm sad. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it again, make sure I actually get it down there and then pull through. Okay, and back out. All right, make sure I pull her little knot. Okay, pulled it a little tight. Now I'm making sure that the 
right. You can see how I kind of like pull the floss back up because I usually get it down out of the way some, but all right, then you kind of just cut it off and you pull it back in, reshape your little schmoop face and um, she's ready to roll with her fancy eyelashes. All right, so I hope that helps out a lot of you. It's really easy to do. Um, I also have a video pinned at the top in the enthusiast group to um, show you all how uh, to do the embroidered um, names um, so that you can actually do the names like they used to do. Anyways, um, there you go. Bye!